Welcome back. Gary, Omni Builders, new van. Just a little bit of an upgrade from the uh, from the old Toyota Ute. Obviously, got to keep your Toyota because it's reliable. Let's give you a little bit of a tour. Uh, we've been using it for the last few months, and uh, yeah, it's been pretty cool. Welcome to 2021, everyone. Check that out. Oh, hello, Dash. Come here, come say hello. This is Dash. You all know him. If you don't know him, now yeah, you know. Bring in a little bit closer. Basically, as you can see, it's a full mezzanine setup. Um, so it's completely flat throughout the top, so I can get any sheet goods I want at the top. Uh, full tints, um, and obviously can only carry uh, three people, but I don't intend on having any more than that in the van anyway. So what's the point? Um, trade vehicles for trade, right? So yeah, it's typically only me and my apprentice anyway. Um, so let's dive right in. First of all, uh, we have our side pockets here. Nail guns, leads, moldy boxes, that sort of stuff. Um, it was actually a ha happy circumstance um, when I worked out the height of this, um, that this actually fit in here really, really nice. Um, I was quite stoked. It did work. Uh, other side. We have our recipro saw, um, or power recipro saw and finish gun in the side there. Uh, but you can change that out for whatever you want. So that just uses up those wheel well sides. Uh, and then back here, um, it changes and it gets a little bit funkier. Uh, so basically, uh, definitely a lot of inspiration from Mr. Scott Brown. Um, if you don't follow him, you definitely should. Um, and I doubt anyone that watches my video is not already subscribed to his stuff because he's massive. Um, so, these are a little bit different. Um, I just got these from Brunsco. Um, they're basically for like camper vans and things like that. They're just a little lock hatch, um, really cheap, um, and just made this easy. Um, I didn't get the lockable ones of these um, because they were out of stock, um, and I've heard that they actually have issues where they stop working after a while. Um, so I opted for this option. So, it is a full 1500 slider, okay, um, they are the best, um, yes they cost an arm and a leg but I wouldn't ever, ever go with anything less because these are absolutely bulletproof, um, doesn't matter how much weight I put in these, it just doesn't matter, they are just smooth and reliable, and yeah. So that's the basic setup in there tool belt, radio, um, yeah, basic setup in there, um, I opted for a bit of a different setup than what uh, Scott Brown has where he's set up all his straight edges and things to be able to pull out, um, I wanted a little bit more versatility to my thing so I just made this as a full draw, okay, so I've got my saw horses, my ho I've got these saw horses that fold up nice and flat, so they go in there, levels go in there, anything else that I want to go in there. Goes in there sweet as a nut. Down here, drop saw stand. Nice and easy, pretty self-explanatory. And I also put my um, my guide rail, my 1200, fits in there quite nicely. Then, third drawer. So, in the back, um, basically all, this, all the clamps, uh, chisels, that sort of stuff that doesn't get used as often. Um, and I've just recently done this actually today uh, with my Makita gear, uh, just separating it up so there's a little bit more room. This here, all this gear that was here, was actually in this middle compartment. Um, it just wasn't working very well, so I made up a nice little toolbox, a removable, slidable toolbox. So yeah, you can put it wherever you want or take it completely out with the convenient little handle holds. And then we have all our Makita gear in here, nice and easy to get to. You yeah, know, bit ringy, but hey, it still works, so I'm not replacing it until it completely dies. But yeah, that's that. That's the back of the van. Um, in the front. Drop saw setup. 
um, little stand in here. I haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do in here just yet. Um, probably going to bring this here forward. Uh, there's a little bit of an oversight when I was building it that this here kind of makes this unusable. Um, might even put a shelf here, bring that in, and then actually have that pullable as a pullable um, shelf of things. Um, and then just storage of um, equipment down there. Um, and then as you can see there, um, I've got the, drop, the uh, table saw stand actually sticking through those holes, um, which actually made it really, really easy. And same goes for this side here, uh, just another little hole. Um, this, this is my ramset gun and my other kit. Um, there's bits and bobs really uh, that just kind of build up and that I want to keep down below. I can't get my vacuum in there unfortunately. Um, it was just too high and it was the only thing that was higher than all the rest. So I didn't want to compromise height just because of a vacuum, um, which very rarely comes with me unless I'm doing anything um, finishing wise. Okay, and then table saw, um, and then it's tied up here. Got a little bit of a makeshift set up there. Pretty easy. Um, the only other um, add-on that I did as well is over here. And we've got a uh, little 700 watt inverter. Uh, so that's just a single plugger. Um, okay. So you just plug in there anything if you're uh, ever caught out on the job site that doesn't have power well not anymore turn on the engine plug that in away you go um, nice digital led setup with a um, reversing camera on it it's pretty stoked actually this is a 2008 um, and it goes hard it is a cool, cool little thing um, i didn't want to blow the blow the budget too much um, i just needed what i needed to get the job done uh, so this has been fantastic um, so on top of here on a daily function i normally have my step ladders um, a ladder or even a rolling scaffold um, in here most of the time um, and if that gets left on site then i get to travel around like this uh, i can put any sheet goods in on top of here um, anything in excess of that well we've got a trailer so you use that but it's fantastic um, the amount of time that I save every day um, being able to just grab tools as I need them and not have to fish through the back of my ute um, this is for sale by the way um, if you're interested let me know um, it is a 2004 um, Toyota Hilux um, it's the 3 litre non turbo version the 5LE um, and yeah comment um, let me know what you what you think you might want to pay um, I've got an idea but I just want to see what people are thinking what, what it might be worth um, comes with the tow racks or um, the roof racks the mags everything comes with everything that you see including the busted headlight no um, but I will be getting a full rego and warrant before I sell it um, at the moment it is out unfortunately um, well that's the old one uh, it is actually um, warranted up to the uh, November 2020 um, but yeah just fell out of warrantable um, I'll get rid of the sign writing obviously but yeah if you're interested let me know um, they are good they're great to work out of um, but they are nothing compared to a van sweet all right well welcome to 2021 uh, should try and get a few more videos out um, if you can have a look there a little sneak peek can you see in there that's a finished kitchen everyone I'll get a video out to you about that soon not too much on the actual building I've um, got a lot of photos of the building but we didn't take much video um, mainly because we wanted to get into that kitchen by Christmas so there was no way I was videoing it because it just took too long um, I was working massive hours before the end of the year um, and yeah yeah, no, no time at all for filming um, but it's a fantastic little kitchen um, very nearly finished it it's like um, like we actually we're using it um, but there's just little um, finessing things and a floating shelf to be done as you saw with the, um, the rods anyway that's it from me everyone thank you very much enjoy 2021 let's hope it is a better year um, I've had actually a pretty good year um, comparable but not everyone else has 
and so my thoughts to anyone that's been struggling um, just yeah push on that's all we can do just push on and uh, and make every day account and every day better sweet see you guys